Today, I'm going to show you how to install a different version of any add-ons in the add-on store for Home Assistant. So for instance, if you are in Settings, and you go over to Add-ons, and you go to the Add-on Store, and click on any add-on that you want, you'll see that there's a version number on the upper right-hand corner. For this add-on, let's encrypt. The latest version is 5.2.1. Let's do another example, Frigate. The latest version is 0 0.14.1. But wait, what if you don't want this version? You want something different, like 0. Point, I don't know, 12.1. In the add-on store, there's no way for you to select a version that you want. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it manually. If you try to revert to a backup, this will not work. I found out the hard way that if you do this, it will only revert back the configuration file, not the, the whole install files. So first, let's uninstall Frigate. Once version 14 is uninstalled, go ahead and try to find the version that you want on GitHub or wherever you want. Here, I was able to find Frigate version 12.1. This is actually the most stable version for my computer. I don't have the fastest computer money can buy. I'm actually running Home Assistant on a Chromebox, as seen in the previous video. And so far, it's pretty good. So I have to revert back from version 14 back down to version 12. Why? Because when I was using version 14 and when I tried to go to the web GUI to view the live videos, it will kill Frigate instantly. I mean, don't get me wrong, the interface for version 14 is nice, but it looks like it's using a lot of resources that my Chromebox simply can't handle with the Celeron processor and the 4GB of RAM. Now that we're able to find version 12, go ahead and download all of these files right here. So let's click on Code. Download the zip file. To upload the files back to GitHub, we need to download this app, GitHub Desktop. Download for Windows and then install it. After installation is done, go ahead and sign into GitHub. Click on Authorize Desktop. Once you sign in, go ahead and click on Finish. I'm going to exit out of the menu. Let's go to File, New Repository, give it a name. In the local path, assign it a folder on your desktop, on your machine. And then click on Create Repository. Now go to Repository, Showing Explorer. So you need to extract and put all of the zip file you downloaded earlier into this empty folder. There we go, looking good. Enter in your summary, and then click Commit. Click on Publish Repository, give it a description if you want, and then click on Publish Repository. If you want, let's go and view it online. And there we go, all of the files from Frigate 12 is now online and ready to go. In the URL, go ahead and copy it. Let's go back to the add-on store, click on the three dots, Add Repositories, paste the URL in, and then click on Add. The Frigate repository is now back in. Now that our custom repository is added in, go ahead and search for it. If you can't find it, hit Control F5 to force a refresh on the, uh, on the browser. There we go. It found it. And this version is 12.1. Sweet. If you want this version, go ahead and click on Install and start using it as before. All right, hopefully this video helps you on how to create your own custom repositories with the add-on version that you want. Hopefully in the future, the add-on store will allow you to choose whatever version you want. But for now, this method is the only way it seems. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.